FreeCommerce has recently added a new function on the grid bot that is called the trailing function. Now I think that this is a great addition to the grid bots and will make them way better to run. And so in this video, I will give you an overview of how the trailing function works and how you can create a grid bot on FreeCommerce. Now, if you're relatively new to grid bots or you just want to have a full explanation of them again, be sure to check out my latest video because there I explain how grid bots work. I will give a full explanation on how to create them on Binance as well. Now, the main reason that you want to create grid bots on free commerce and not directly on your exchange is that most exchanges out there actually don't offer grid bots. For example, on Binance, you have the option to create spot grid bots and futures grid bots directly on Binance. On most other exchanges, for example, FTX, there is no option to actually create grid bots on FTX directly. And so you have to go to a third party provider like FreeCommerce and then create grid bots for your exchange. If you don't have a FreeCommerce account, you can sign up with the link in the description below. And then you just can go to my portfolio and you can connect whatever exchange you're using. After that, FreeCommerce will display your available funds and then you can go to the grid bot to get to the grid bot overview. Now, the main three things that you need to set up is your exchange, the market that you want to trade against, and the actual pair that you want to run. After you've selected all these three settings, you can either choose to go for automatic settings, where free commerce will have a look, I think, at the past 120 days, and you look for the lowest price, the highest price, and do some calculations based off those, and then set the price range. And based on the backtest, it will tell you which amount of grids would have made the most profit. If you don't want to rely on the automatic settings, you can go back to your custom settings. On the custom settings, you can set all the settings that I've already explained in my latest video. And now there's one new feature that is called the trailing to the upside. I'm going to switch over to the chart and just do a brief explanation of how the trailing up works. So now that we're on the chart, let's suppose that we have a very simple grid setup on Bitcoin between $18,000 to $25,000. And to make it very easy, on every $1,000, we have one grid. So between 18 and 25, we have one at 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and $24,000. Now, as with all grid bots, whenever you start the grid bot, it will look at the current price. All levels below the current price will be buy orders. All levels above the current price will be sell orders. Just to quickly repeat what the risks are with grid bots. Well, the only risk with a spot grid bot is that basically the price goes below your range, where I would recommend to have a stop loss setup, let's say something like $17,000 in this case. And when this price is reached, you basically have two options. You can either stop the bot or you can stop the bot and sell your entire Bitcoin. But this is not what we are going to focus on in this video. In this video, we're going to be focusing on what happens if the price goes up on the other end. So let's just play through a quick example so we can see what, what would happen if the price goes above the upper end. Let's imagine that the price of Bitcoin continuously goes to the upside and has now reached all of our limit orders. Now, if this happens, then we know that all the orders that are on the grid will be turned into buy orders. And then typically, if the price still continues to go up and it goes out of the range, well, the, the grid bot wouldn't do anything. It would just wait until the price maybe goes back into the range and then it would continue to trade. Now, with the trailing up feature, what will happen is if the price moves up enough above the upper price, then the entire grid will move up as well. There are some platforms out there that call this an infinity grid because basically as long as the price keeps moving up, doesn't go down enough to your stop loss to stop the bot, you will basically have the grid running infinitely. Now how this works is that every grid has a certain gap between each other. In this case, to do it uh, as simple as possible, let's just say there's exactly this $1,000 between every grid, and the upper price is at $25,000. Let's say that the price goes up to $26,000. What will then happen is that the upper price will turn into a buy order. Even though before that it was actually no order at all, now there will be a new buy order. The problem with that we're going to face right now 
is we don't have enough funds to cover all the orders anymore because now there's one more order than we initially created. Also, what will free commerce will do automatically is that it will remove the latest buy order and it will move up your stop loss as well. And so as you can see, even though we started at eighteen to twenty-five thousand dollars, now we have to range from nineteen to twenty-five thousand dollars. Let's say that the price continues to move up to twenty-seven thousand dollars, then it will again look at the range between the grids. Now it would set up another buy order for twenty-six thousand dollars. Again, remove the latest one and move the lower stop loss up by one thousand dollars. If the price now goes down, well, then our grid bot will continue to work as normally. So it will buy some Bitcoin and then at $27,000, it will set a new sell order. And so as long as the price doesn't go down enough to stop our bot, the entire grid will always move up with the price of Bitcoin in this case. I think this is a great addition because previously what you had to do was you had to set up a take profit and let's say the take profit was $26,000 and then after this price was reached your bot would just stop again and you would have to set it up again. And so with the trailing up feature you can continuously keep your bot running. Now back on free commerce there's one really important thing that needs to be set because only then trailing can be used and this is what you can find on custom if you open up the options both the profit currency and the order size currency have to be in us dollar or in your stable coin in quote the reason for this is that if i have order size currency of e for example then obviously as the price goes up the orders will become more and more expensive and i don't have all the funds and then one more thing you need to consider is when you set up a stop loss it also says trailing up that's because whenever the overall grid trails up, the stop loss also trails up. So let's say that we set up the stop loss at $1,000 right now. Well, if the entire grid moves up $500, then the new stop loss will be at $1,500. So if you set up the bot, don't be confused if the stop loss is somewhere else where you have placed it. And then last but not least, what Free Commerce has also recently added is a backtest functionality to the grid bots. I think this backtest functionality really shows you how different settings have a very huge impact on your grip bots. What I like to do a lot of the times is compare the automatic settings to my custom settings. And what you can also do is you can, for example, backtest different uh, amount of levels. Most of the time it actually shows that a lower level makes more profit than with more levels. And then what else you can do is you can backtest if the profit currency in quote or if base has been better just to show you how the backtest looks like let's go back to the automatic settings let's just backtest them real quick this will then take a couple of seconds and we'll have a look at the past 120 days and then it will show you how many trades it would have done in this period and how much profit it would have done so we can see that on ethereum usdt with the automatic settings over the last 120 days it would have actually made almost 40 percent profit with automatic settings so you actually didn't have to do anything just select automatic settings created and for that 40 percent profit really is insane so i hope that you enjoyed this video again if you want to set up a grip bot you can do that with the link in the description down below and i'll see you in the next video